Hello everyone, welcome to day 6 of September Lead Code Challenge and today's question is slowest keys. Has it ever happened with you guys that from the description of it, the question looks too big and overwhelming while when you actually understand these questions, uh, these are pretty straightforward and easy. So today's question is a deceptive question again and although the question is a bit lengthy, but it's pretty straightforward and simple. The question says, we are given the release times of various keys that are pressed on the keyboard. We need to tell the key which has been pressed for the longest duration of time. If there are multiple keys that have been pressed for the longest duration of times, we need to return the lexicographically largest character that was pressed then. So without much ado, let's look at the presentation that I have created for this and let's get started. Slowest key lead code 1629 and let's try to understand the input that is specified in the question. Uh, we have the S character being pressed till the 12th second. That means the duration for which S was pressed is 12. Let's move on to the next character. The next character is P. So P was pressed till 23rd second. So what is the duration of, for which P was pressed in the system? It is 23 minus 12, which is nothing but 11. So I'll update this to 11. Next we have is U and U was pressed till 36th second. That means what is the duration up till which 36 uh, U was pressed? It is 36 minus 23. That gives us 13. So let's update this to 13. Next we have is D. D was pressed up till 46 second. 46 minus 36 is 10. So let's update this to 10. Next we have is A and A was pressed up till 62th second. 62 minus 46 is 16. So let's remove this and update this to 16. This gives me the time duration for which each of the below character was pressed. Now what do I need to do? I need to find out the one which has been pressed for the longest duration which in this case is A because it was pressed for 16 seconds in total. Had there been a case where uh, there, there had been another character in the system, let's say R and it was also pressed for 16 seconds, then out of these two, which one do you need to choose? You need to return the one which is of higher sky value because we are looking for lexicographically largest element and we will give away the eighth character because r is higher than a i hope you understood this and the time complexity for this approach is order of n your iterating to the input array once for updating it and again you are iterating over it to identify the longest one you can also solve it using a single iteration in one loop as well uh, so this brings me uh, to the end of the conceptual part of the algorithm. Now let's move on to the coding section. In the first loop, I have updated the release time to store the duration for which each key was pressed. And instead of iterating from the starting index up till the last index, I have iterated in the reverse direction starting from the last index to the first index so that it makes my logic simpler. And I simply update release of i equals to release of i minus release of i minus 1. Next I have taken two variables max time and the character that, that I need to return. I again start the iteration. If my release time happens to be greater than my max time, that means I, I found out uh, the key which was pressed for a larger duration of time. I update that uh, key as my answer and update the max time to its duration time. For the case where the release time happens to be equal to max time, I check if my current key is sky value is greater than that was stored in the answer, then I replace it, otherwise I ignore it. In the end, I simply return the, an the answer which is held in character C. Let's try this out. Accepted. This brings me to the end of today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. Till then, goodbye.